Hello world, I'm just here to make you think. This CEO Fully Trenches Hockey Raw connects you live and direct with this bonus video. This video is about the original 50 Cent Calvin Martin versus the twins from Philadelphia. Hockey Raw and Mikey Raw. Hockey Raw and Mikey Raw, the twins. Us right here. You know, JBM Finest, North Philly Finest, South Philly Finest, Frankfurt Finest, Area Avenue Finest. We all over the city known, right? Now, we're going to do 50 Cent first. Now, 50 Cent, right, he was down with Kayshawn, a law of justice in them, right? Kayshawn is right here. Alleged cold stick-up ball killer with lots of bodies. And nines out of ten, he ain't paid for none of that jury, you know? And a law of justice is right here, you know? They try to take, you know what I mean, glaze the wall, you know? Right here when Glaze was down with Fat Cat and them. But Glaze found out a Fat Cat Nichols right there. Glaze found out that the original 50 Cent tried to back door him. They grew up together, right? It was real cool with each other. Glaze had went to jail. The original 50 Cent had went to jail. They ran into each other in jail. Then they came home. He said, my nigga Glaze. He seemed like at the train station. He said, get with me. Get with me. Glaze started moving around, moving and shaking, doing his ones and two. Right? 50 Cent out here robbing people, lining people, and try to line. He tried to line him up. You know what I mean? He locked up at the time because he could have squashed everything. King Tut right here. Walter King Tut could have. Uh, stopped it, but you got 50 Cent, you got um, Kayshawn, right? And you got a Law of Justice and they crew trying to take Glaze out. Glaze find out, right? Unbeknown to Glaze is a contract out on his head because not on Glaze head, on the original 50 Cent head, that's Coogee Rat right there, the, the bomber on. You know, it's alleged that the original 50 Cent stole all his jewelry and his Rolex. You know what I mean? See how they on the same picture right here? Original 50 Cent on the Eric and Eric B and Rakim cover album, as well as with Coogee Rap, 1986 cover album. See all that jewelry he got on? Original 50 Cent was robbing so many people, he robbed that guy. Look how he look now. Still alive, still making moves. And it's alleged that this guy right here, while at the original 50 Cent funeral, he spit in the casket inside his face. Because that's how much he was mad at the original 50 Cent because it was real cool, really cool. You know, but the original 50 Cent right here, you know, was in this the projects with a Puerto Rican guy. Now, I'm going to give you all some advice. Never rob a Puerto Rican and never rob a Dominican. And then hang with a Dominican or a Puerto Rican. You see what I'm saying? They found out who was close to this ball that was Puerto Rican. And they walked inside, you know, because he robbed a lot of drug dealers and everything. His name was ringing. His name was ringing. That's why the rapper 50 Cent stole his name. Original 50 Cent from Queens. Him. He was from all over New York. But when he went to the county jail, they beat his ass a few times because he ran into a lot of his ops. People weren't scared of him in jail. He just got to drop on people. He was short. He was real sneaky. But the Puerto Rican boy he was with, they was walking up the stairwells inside the project, and he turned around and allegedly hit this boy up real bad and killed him. And then when main man went to the funeral, allegedly he spit in his face. And that's all over New York. He met his demise. Now let's get to the twins. Hockey Raw, Mikey Raw. That's me, Hockey Raw. And that's my twin brother, Mikey Raw, with his hand bone chain on. See how big his hand bone is? And that's Puerto I mean, E Man. E. So I know Puerto Rican E, and I know E. E, JBM. Right? Now that's 89 of, you know, of Chucks when Coogee Rap. Was up there with his green warrior on. 
And I ain't thought my brother Mikey knew him when he said it until Kooji Rat came over there and said, what's up, little Mikey? And hugged my brother. And that's when I knew, hugged him and shook his hand. Man, my twin brother Mikey, <clears throat> age 14, the jury on, hustling down Richard Island. You know what I'm saying? Young boys in the game. You see how we 15 years old hang with people five, six years older than us in the act of midnight. I mean, mobbed out, going to war against drug lords and kingpins, getting locked up, teaming back up with the wolf pack, low life and all them, like really handling out business with real knockout artists, Big Ben, Norny and all them with the who's who, you feel me? And really about that life and still playing sports, still winning championships. And I still got the record, 32 touchdowns in 11 games from 1987 that hasn't been broken yet. Right. So me and my brother going to visit my brother Beans, that's Belango right hand man. I mean, 1985, 12 years old, first day of school. And then we started football same day. Now, we was going around handing our business in the streets. You know what I mean? Robbing and selling drugs and being around the top JBM members and the top drug lords in the city. Now, the difference between us and 50 Cent is two of us. The difference between us and 50 Cent, he around rappers and all that because that's in their backyard. I'm quite sure if it was a lot of rappers in Philly like that, we'd have been around them too because we was around everybody that was somebody. You feel what I'm saying? The comparison is this. We both did the same type of shit. We robbed people. Even though we knew the people we robbed, we weren't hanging with them. We just knew who they were. But we never robbed our friends. You feel what I'm saying? We robbing people and had a, they were scared to death of us. We was the top stick-up kids in Philly. You feel what I'm saying? We had Porsche designs, you know what I'm saying? Minks and all that, you know what I'm saying? Gucci glasses. In the penitentiary, upstate, in the county, even though we did a lot of shit out here, we ain't never had to take PC. Ain't nobody ever put their hands on us. If anything, we was the aggressor. You feel what I'm saying? That's why when I compare we babies coming into this world, father being the top gangster, mom being the top hustler. You see what I'm saying? In the county as young boys, Holmesburg, vicious jail, where's though if... The original 50 Cent was in his county. They rolled on him. We ain't experienced that. We was doing the rolling on. That's the difference. Our names was popping all through Philadelphia at the age of 14. Everybody knew us in 1987. And everybody knew him in 1987. So we both had rep around the same time. You understand what I'm saying? A few more of our members from Low Life. Steve in the middle, which is Wallow Brother. Omar. L. Took major money with us and all that. Just letting you know, letting you see. You know what I mean? That's me, older. You know what I mean? Bolder. You know what I'm saying? So that's the story of, you know what I mean, of us compared to the original 50 Cent. Now, I'm quite sure the original 50 Cent name was ringing because, you know, in New York, they, 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 they word travel. And if he's in the studio with all these rappers and robbing them, word going to get around. And that's how the word got around faster. But when the rappers was coming to Philly, these New York rappers and Philly rappers, we was robbing them too with the wolf pack or robbing them by ourselves. You know what I mean? Without a gun, with a Pepsi bottle in our pocket. We ain't need no gun. In fact, when we was robbing people first without gun, without guns, we was really taking major jury. See, they needed guns. We didn't need guns. We just needed to be there and be aggressive with our voice and play the role like we got a gun and it worked. You know, so if you compare the two, it was like me and Mikey was thorough than him because everybody loved us. You know what I mean, couldn't nobody back doors. We weren't going out like that. When my brother got killed because he came outside and he was already in the neighborhood because he was in the house chilling. And they four people shooting at the block. People got shot up. He turned around and started shooting back. That's why he got shot in the back because he was shooting, you know, but. The different comparison is that we didn't snake the people that was feeding us. You feel what I'm saying? That's why they got rid of him. That's why at his friend we got spit at and all that. But me and my twin brother, the whole city came to the funeral. Everybody in the prison system and the juvenile system was hurt. That's the difference. Fully trenches, fully trenches, fully trenches.